Get blown off? We'll find out now in Waiting by the Phone with Fred and Angie on 103.5 KISS FM. How you doing, Sean? Yo, what's up? Sean, good morning, man. Welcome to our show. I'd love to hear all about your day with Mia. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the date with Mia was good, man. I mean, she, she looked good. I mean, she smelled good. She smelled like a fruit tray from the grocery store. I mean, it, wow. was, it was great, man. Okay, I mean, some, she, yeah, some people like that. Some people don't like the fruity stuff, but hey. But was the honeydew yeah, on this yeah. fruit tray? Because the honeydew, honeydew is a ripoff. It's not good. Oh, no, no. It was it was kiwi, strawberry, watermelon, okay. yogurt. I mean, I could smell it all, man. Yeah, no all right, so you like the way she looked and smelled. That's always good. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way she looked and smelled. Her hair was nice. Her her eyes looked beautiful. It was it was just a fun time. She looked good. We we bowled a little bit. Uh, you know, we we you know just you know ate popcorn and I mean we just had a good time and, and okay. good conversation and, and I really I really like her. I really dig this chick, man. I really do. And so where are we now? Because you're calling us, so she hasn't yeah. called you back? No, uh, so I sent some text messages, you know what I'm saying? I called her, left messages, and I'm, I'm just not getting a response from her. And, and I just don't, I don't know why. Maybe maybe my calls are not going through or something, but I'm, I really need to, you know, really need to get through to her, man. Because okay. I, I really had a good time with her. I really liked it. And before the date, you said in your email that it took uh, a few weeks for you guys to find a time that was good for you guys to get together. But before that, you know, it, there was a lot of communication, right? I mean, there was a lot of texting, and you guys talked on the phone, so... Yeah. So now she's going silent after the date, which is bad. Right, right. She is going silent after the date. Um, you know, we did. It seemed like, you know, you know, you, you send a text in the morning or throughout the day while you're at work and everything, you know, maybe mm. call a little bit and talk. And, and all that was happening. And it just seemed like all that just cut off after the date. I, I right. want to make sure everything is okay, man. All right. All right. Well, let's call her mm. up. Um, I'm going to put you on hold for a minute to play a song. Can you hang on? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. We're going to call her. We're going to see if we can figure out, you know, where things maybe went wrong or if there's some kind of misunderstanding, and uh, and we'll go from there, okay? Okay, man. Thanks. Just that, man. Let's do part two of Waiting by the Phone with Sean. Hello? Is this Mia? Yes, this is Mia. Mia, good morning. It's Fred Nancy calling from the morning radio show on KISS FM. And before we go any further, I have to tell you for legal reasons that we are... On the radio right now, I need your permission to continue. Is it okay? Okay. You cool All with right. that? I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I understand it's a little weird, <laughs> but I'm actually calling to ask you about a guy who you went out with named Sean. Can we talk about Sean? Oh, okay. We can talk about Sean. Okay. All okay. right. Well, he says you guys had a great day bowling and all that stuff, and then uh, he says you've gone silent on him and you haven't responded to any of his text messages and phone calls. I was just curious if maybe you could tell us so we could tell him why. He was, he was cool. You know, he seemed really nice. I gave him a chance and everything. And, but okay. the second time, okay, totally different dude. Okay, he looked different. He, he I don't know, maybe I was drunk, I don't know, but he was like 30 pounds fatter. Okay. And how long did you wait between dates? I don't know. It must have been like four to six weeks or something like that because, you know, we were just okay. having trouble tagging up or whatever. Well, because he you told know, us that you guys how can met. You gain that much weight? He told you know? us that you guys met and then it took a little while for you guys to get back together. So you're telling me in a period of a month, he gained a bunch of weight. I don't know where, I don't know how, but the dude was fat, okay? He was not fat before and he's fat now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, wait a minute. How you gonna call you just gonna say I'm fat? That's Sean, like that. by the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, Have, look, yeah I'm, I'm on here, Mia. Look at look in the mirror. You're, what's, what's, listen. Look in the mirror. Okay. If you look in the mirror too, you look in the mirror, you looking at me. I mean, how you go? I, we had a good time, and I'm on a medication right now. You know, I hurt my back. I told that I sent that to you in a text message, but you don't respond to. You know what I mean? So, but so I, you I, so I, you, I really, you maybe gained a little bit of weight. You're you're admitting that yeah. maybe okay. He, yeah, he, I'm he has a double chin. Right he didn't have a double chin. He's got this nasty beard. Oh. Okay, it's like the nastiest. Okay. 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 So, so you want to talk about you want to talk about my chin and my beard? But hell, look at you! I thought your hair and your eyes look good. You old Mister Potato Head ass. Oh. You ain't that probably even even your ass that you got. You probably got ass injection. Okay. He's not even a gentleman. He doesn't even open the door. Oh, wait a minute. But you just I, called him fat, though, wait, on the radio. I mean, right. is I'm not he, a gentleman. I don't open the door. Hell, you need to leave. let your weave open the door for your ass. Oh, wow. <laughs> your, weave, your weave is probably more chivalrous than my ass. Why, why, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> you want to talk about me? You, you fat. Hell, you look like you pregnant. So, so I you like texting me every day. I don't even like them no Wait a minute, wait a minute. Night and day. Night and day. This went a different direction. Now you don't like my weed. Now you don't like my weed. Why you don't like my weed? Because I want to hit it. Hell, I don't even want to be hit from the back and pull your hair and you bald-headed. I pull your hair and have it in my hand. I might as well f*** your hair. Two things for you, honey. 1-800-SLIM-FAST, okay? Yeah, SLIM-FAST, these SLIM-FAST, these mother in your mouth. Let me fuck all that yeah, lose my number. Lose the weed. Lose oh. my number with your fat ass. <laughs> and whatever, whatever. The, whatever the hell is growing out your okay. mouth. Okay. Say that right. Well, you like you like fat meat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> say that. Wow. Say that. Wow. You, ain't, you ain't gotta call me. You ain't gotta call oh me God. no more. Okay. You ain't gotta call right. me I, no more. I ain't gonna call you no more. Oh. You know <laughs> we got it. So there's there's no text messages on your ass. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Wait, you know what I mean? hey, hold on. Hey. Hold on. I gotta say, so, so you don't want me to set you up on another day? No, man. F- that. I, I'll get my own, man. Especially no Mr. Potato Head, no fake ass. You know what I'm saying? Her phone probably got cut off. No, don't set me up with no more dates. I'll be all right, man. All right. Well, wow. Luck. That went out of control. All right. Well, good luck to you, man. Whatever, man. Oh, man.